Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick. Today we're going to be getting into a three to four part series on gaming headsets. Uh, we'll start easy for some of those people that are just getting into the headset market interested in something pretty basic. Uh, it's an older headset that I've had for a while. It is the Steel Series Behind the Neck Gaming Headset. Literally, that is what it's called. Behind the Neck Gaming Headset. Uh, now, this is a little bit older product from Steel Series. You won't be able to find it on their website. Uh, you can find it on their. You can find information on their website, uh, but you can't buy it on their website anymore. It's considered out of stock. Amazon, some other electronics retailers, you can find it. Um, prices range between forty and eighty bucks. It did retail back in the day for eighty-five. Uh, now this is an older product. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, but still not too bad, mid-range, this is definitely not a high-end headset. We'll be getting into some of those a little bit later uh, in this four-part series. So let's get into it. Plastic, kind of, shell, it's glossy, white, doesn't get too dirty, it's kind of nice. Uh, it has these nice little decorative kind of inserts, these rings here, uh, and they're on both sides. Uh, that's that's kind of nice. Uh, you have these about three quarters of an inch thick uh, velour cloth pads that are pretty comfortable, intended to be uh, used for longer gaming headsets, uh, and the same type of fabric is on the top, but uh, this top here actually stretches internally uh, to fit larger heads uh, and retracts on its own once you let it go. So this is not the most comfortable headband in the world by uh, any stretch of the imagination. It's actually one of the more uncomfortable headbands, but since it is a behind-the-neck Headband. I probably shouldn't even be calling it a headband. It's a neckband. Uh, it's not too bad. My only complaint uh, ever about this headset. Ear cups are great. Uh, fits perfect. The ear cups are classified as XL uh, for maximum comfort and gaming optimization uh, by Steel Series. The only complaint that I ever had is since this earband back here auto retracts, it feels like it's trying to pull itself off of like off my head. It feels like. I'm getting yanked back like this, uh, and that eventually the headset will just spring off uh, because, you know, I have it sort of like this uh, at depth, and then it wants to uh, retract itself. So that's, I wish it kind of had, you know, click settings where it could click to different sizes, uh, but even nowadays, 2014, you can spend $100 for, you know, uh, earphones or a gaming headset or something like that that has the clip to adjust and it even that is horrible uh, that pair of headphones right there PSB M4U2's we're gonna be doing a review on those a little bit later make sure you're subscribed for that make sure you're subscribed for this four-part gaming headset series you'll want to notice it that $600 pair of headphones has these click to adjust uh, sizing and even it's horrible after you know a year or so of use the thing is it's just loose and floppy and it doesn't have this distinctive click there's a lot of headsets that that do that that's kind of a problem that the whole industry is facing unfortunately uh, so that's the con with the neck band uh, we'll talk about the cable here not the longest one that's it might even be able to fit it in the screen here I mean that's it it is uh, right about five feet not a full six foot. I'm not six foot either, uh, but I, I, I'm guessing at right around five feet. No microphone mute, no individual volume knob on here or microphone mute, mute or internal mic so you can like use it with your cell phone or something like that. Just the very plain headphone and microphone, three and a half millimeter, eighth inch input jacks. In the box, it does come with a Xbox 360 connector. You plug USB into the Xbox, and has a little sound card built in, and you plug this into it so that you can use it with your Xbox 360, Xbox 360 exclusive. No PS4 or any other things like that, Xbox 360 exclusive. Uh, also, it does come with an extension cable for this if this is not long enough for you. For example, it's not long enough at my PC, which is almost an arm's length away over there in the corner. Uh, it does come with a uh, another six foot extension cord, which is basic like that. It has two of these uh, on the end of the cord. It has six feet of cable. And then on the other side is this very small sound card uh, where you plug this end into, and it gives you a little extra length. 
that does have a volume dial on it, which is kind of nice. Uh, back to the headset, though. Uh, no gaming headset is complete without a microphone. Uh, so this kind of folds out. Uh, it is a omnidirectional mic, uh, and most are nowadays. Uh, it is a kind of a bendable twisty tie kind of material uh, where it's a, a sheathed piece of rubber. Um, sheathed piece of metal, actually. It's kind of like it has the same consistency as a twisty tie. Uh, so you can bend it in a whole bunch of goofy shapes. Uh, and it still picks up your voice pretty well. Not the best microphone in the world. It does have, you know, kind of makes you sound like you're in a tunnel or, you know, it might echo now and again. Uh, but I think some of that's based on software, which is a per game issue. Uh, but in terms of the mic, it's very baseline. And I think I spent a little less than 50 bucks on this a couple Christmases ago to get it for myself. That was one of the first gaming headsets that I purchased. Uh, and it was fair. It was absolutely fine. I, it suited my needs as a kind of an entry-level gamer. Uh, and I didn't really, you know, I really wasn't into gaming too hardcore. And this is kind of what a headset is for your casual gamer. You know, not like you're the, you play video games 9 to 5, like it's your job like I do nowadays. Um, so just the entry-level headset. It's fine. Cost is great. You know, it's not complex. Uh, the cable here is kind of a braided, uh, rubber textured uh, design, which is very nice, and that was very good for the headset of its day, because uh, this is a little bit dated, uh, but still a pretty wonderful product. It's very small. Uh, you've got this mesh metal material that you would expect on the inside of the speaker, uh, but the insides are actually uh, cloth covered. And they use a standard 40 millimeter driver, nothing too terribly um, great. It's just kind of the indi industry standard that they uh, that they use for that. So let me uh, jump on to SteelSeries website real quick, and uh, we will talk about I don't really give too much information. It talks about the adjustable uh, neckband to fit all sizes. It's for gaming and beyond. Steel Series launched the original Siberia full-size headset in 2004. The success of the headset's been enormous. Not only do gamers use it, but also rock musicians, DJs, enthusiasts uh, that, have, that enjoy the design and soundscape. The Steel Series Siberia neckband takes the concept uh, of a unique design a step further with its behind-the-neck positioning. One size fits all, cross-platform use, and by cross-platform I mean only Xbox 360 and PC uh, and Mac. Uh, and it has that retractable microphone that we talked about. Things in the box come with the headset, the extension cord with volume regulator that I mentioned, and the Xbox 360 converter. Frequency response is 80 to 28,000 kilohertz. It's actually called HZM on here. I think that's probably a typo. Uh, the impedance is 40 ohms, which is pretty nice for a small headset like that. I thought it was a little bit less. Uh, so 40 ohms is a pretty interesting uh, interesting drive. Uh, and for the microphone, the frequency response is 80 to 15,000 hertz. Uh, the pickup pattern is omnidirectional, which I mentioned. The sensitivity is minus 38 dB, and the impedance is 2,000 ohms. SteelSeries makes some pretty good headsets. It's not my favorite gaming company. Uh, I have very few of their products. Uh, the Siberia series is wonderful. This is kind of the entry. They only made ever made like one behind the neck headphone. I think this was like the only behind the neck headphone gaming headset that you can find. If there are, if if somebody else knows behind the neck gaming headset besides this one, post it in the comments. I want to see it. Uh, also, if you have any questions, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Please leave any questions in the comments. I will be answering your questions uh, as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Also, if you've made it to the end of this video, I appreciate it. Viewers like you is what drive this channel. Please uh, do hashtag I made it to the end of this video in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Because I want to see how many people actually watch this entire almost 10 minute thing. So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time.